Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Lent is a privileged time for every believer to discover the true face of God in order to better enjoy the salvation He offers us in Jesus Christ. The hidden face of the Father is very often in yours and we describe God facilely. The great characters and friends of God in the story of salvation help us throughout the Sundays to discover and love Him. Abraham, Moses, Josiah, St. Paul, the apostles, and especially Jesus Christ in His way of acting and being with everyone without distinction. Through the parable of the prodigal son, we discover who God is. God is a father of mercy and full of love for all his children, especially for science. He will give a new land to the children of Israel. This possession is celebrated in Gilgal in the valley of Jericho. The land of Canaan becomes there, to the dismay of Moses, who could not make his entry because of his doubt about God's ability to meet an essential need of the people. The thorny issue of water. The expectation of the children of Israel who discover this new place where honey and milk flow are beyond their expectation. They discover that the God of their father is faithful in his promises in spite of the infidelities of his people. As for St. Paul, he made his Corinthian friends discover what it is to be with Christ and to become his disciple. Every disciple becomes a new creature. It is like passing from an old world to a new one a new bird because he has reconciled with God, disregarding our sins and making us his ambassadors. With Jesus facing the recrimination of the scribes and Pharisees, we discover that God is a father of mercy for every prodigal child. He is like his son Jesus, who welcomes Sinai to the dismay of Pharisees and scribes, who are scandalized by his closeness to the marginals. The heart of God is a good, great, and generous, as we could wrongly imagine by our narrow vision of poor humans. God reaches out the rituals as well as the signer. He has only one thing, to return to him with all our heart by a true conversion. He is the father of mercy, as in this parable. He wants us alive and reconciled with him to introduce us into the eternal banquet. God is forgiveness itself. Let us dare to go to him and stop judging ourselves. He forgives beyond all expectation. He behaves like a good father and mother at the same time. He is ready to put all the counters at zero for his prodigal children. He is well eaters. His rebellious children 
who are fond of false freedom and caprice with bitter consequence. Like Jesus, he is close to the publican and sinners. Let's not make him out to be something who is not. With him, every being can lie, live again and give themselves a second and more chance if their heart tells them to. This parable invites us on this Sunday of Lent to an enemy's trust in the Father's mercy and impregnates us with the certainty of his goodness. His mercy gives dignity to every signer and honor him as well by putting on the wedding garden, the ring and the sandal night, Adidas, etc. You are invited not to have the posture of the elder son in his hardness and coldness towards his little brother. Each one of us must ask himself which side he is on his life. Pharisees, scriber, elder son, younger brother, let us be perfect as our Father is perfect. Let us be at the school of Jesus in this time of land. With God, everything is possible even in the most intolerable human situation. He knows how to reach us even in situations of peril. He listens and his passion with our failures. He makes us the best offer of salvation on his son Jesus, who came to reconcile us with him and show us that he is a father of mercy and patience. The way of, of forgiveness is always in progress. It is the preferential option. He welcomes and it with silence. Lord, give us to believe in your love. You are tender and do not make difference between your children. We, who are both the younger and the older son of the parable, let us experience in our lives the joy of forgiveness and reconciliation. A request in these difficult times, peace and reconciliation for Ukraine and Russia. Good Sunday. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.